I worked in the warehouse section of a local grocery store a few years back. It was a really small store, being family opened and everything, so we didn't have many employees. Most of the stocking would be done during the day, but me and another guy worked overnights to organize the back room and finish whatever the day shift didn't get done. It was a simple job and honestly paid well compared to other big name stores. The only downside was that I would work alone two nights a week on my co-worker's days off. He did the same on my days off, and we both always complained about it because we'd still have to do the same amount of work, except we'd have to do it by ourselves. This happened on a Friday night, which was my co-worker's day off. I clocked in at 10.30 and started rolling out the boxes to stock. I had my headphones and listening to a podcast. Around three hours in, I finished the first set of boxes and went into the back to grab more when I heard a thud echo through the building. I pulled my headphones out and listened. The building made strange noises sometimes, but I'd never heard them that loud before. I went to the front of the store and looked down the aisles, but it seemed to all be normal. One thing to note is that the store locks the entrance doors at night, but the exit doors are those automatic ones that swing open when you walk by them from the inside. We always leave these unlocked, allowing you to actually pull them open from the outside. It takes a bit of strength and kind of feels like you're breaking the door. But the other stores I used to work at did the same thing too, so I assume it's a regular practice. To be fair, if you weren't a worker, you really would never know that they were unlocked, because a quick pull on the door wouldn't even make it budge. You really have to force it. Anyway, this always made me slightly nervous whenever I'd hear something. Seeing as everything was good, though, I went back to work. I was in the aisle in the far left of the store, stocking beverages, when I suddenly saw a figure walk past the aisle. It was in the corner of my eye, so I didn't get a good look, but it was enough to make me jump. I pulled out my headphones again and quickly went to the front, looking down where I thought I saw them walking. They weren't there anymore, though. I jogged across the store, looking down each aisle. I was sure I saw someone, but now it was like they disappeared. I even searched the back room and didn't see anything. I wasn't sure if I was just seeing things now or if it was real. I went back to work, but I was a bit paranoid for the rest of the night, looking around often. I heard a couple more things throughout my shift, checking on them each time but never finding anything. It wasn't until I talked to my coworker the next night that we decided to check the security cameras. He was technically the overnight manager, so he had access to the security room. We saw nothing unusual for the first hour, but then around the one hour and 20 minutes mark, a man could be seen entering through the automatic doors. He was wearing a large jacket and had one hand kept in his pocket the whole time. He walked around the store, sometimes stopping to watch me while I was stocking with my back facing him. It gave me chills watching this guy stare at me without me even knowing. We saw him knock over a box at the three hour mark, putting it back quickly and rushing to hide. This was the first sound I heard. After this, we took the footage to the police, but there were no identifying features, so it was worthless. Seeing that man stare at me with one hand in his pocket the whole time was such an eerie feeling though, looking like he was hiding a gun or something. Deciding whether or not to do something terrible. Or maybe he was waiting for me to catch him first. He never came back, at least not that I know of. I live with my older brother in a small home just off of a highway. We're both in our mid-twenties, working regular jobs, but financially it's a lot easier on us to split the rent and live together anyway. We don't see each other all that often because we work opposite shifts. I work the morning shift and he works overnight. Truthfully, I don't think either of us